Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. It's me, Jimmy, back with more Vintage Survival here in Colonia. And today we are going to put down, we got the fields uh, ready to go. They've been flipped from our old harvest. We have gotten everything sold. We have both these fields ready to go. We did lay down some fertilizer. We got it cultivated. So it should be 100% ready to go. That way we can uh, get some crops growing. And after doing some diligent research about how we can maximize our profits and try to make a whole bunch of money, as of right now, soybeans are uh, the way to go. We're gonna make a bunch of money doing our soybeans. But today, after we get down, after we get done drilling, the soybeans i want to maybe run a few contracts here in february because like i said can't do much after we drill gotta wait for it to grow i think i want to end up purchasing this plot right here which is worth how much is this this it can cost us twenty two thousand dollars we are sitting on 13 grand right now i would like to purchase this plot right here and i would like to purchase this back here because we're kind of running out of room so I like to purchase this house because these neighbors are loud. That way we can have a little bit more room to put our tools and everything like that. So that's what I'm looking forward to doing. Um, I think that's the best way that I can see, um, you know, maximizing all our room. Because our whole plan is to buy this whole neighborhood and make it our own farming paradise. So let's go ahead and jump in the old dutes. I don't want to spend any uh, unnecessary money as of right now just because... Um, we're, we're trying to save up, man. We want to make a whole bunch of money to buy the whole neighborhood. So we're going to stick with the dudes for now. It's it's doing everything we need. So we do have soybeans ready to go in the driller. So let's go ahead and go get our uh, get it all set up. Do a quick drilling. We'll go ahead and turn on there. There we go. And uh, we'll get started putting down these soybeans. And we're going to put soybeans in both fields. That way we can harvest them all at one time. So let's go ahead and get this put down and see where we're at time-wise. All right. Well, this is the last little strip we have for the soybeans in this, these two fields. We got both of these drilled with our soybeans. So we will wait to see how delicious these soybeans turn out. We'll go ahead and turn this off. Come up this way. So it is only 11.30 in the morning, so that means we have plenty of time to do some contracts. So let's get down here. Actually, I wanna move this combine just because it, uh, it's kinda of in the way. I wanna keep running over my stuff, so I'm gonna park it over here. As soon as I buy this little piece of property behind the field, this is probably where I'll store, store it. That way it's out of the way for now. We'll park it in the grass, no big deal. We'll get it out of the way. Jump back over here. Drop our cedar off. And drive up down this way. We got we still have uh, plenty of uh, seeds left. If we look at a seeding contract. But for now, we'll go ahead and put it away. We do have a bag of seed left. Let's take a look at the... Let's take a look at the field. And make sure that we do not have any... Uh, anything we need to do for yield itself. So let's go take a look. Take a look at our field, 100% uh, fertilizer. It needs rolling. So we'll pull this up, do a quick save. We'll go over here to our soil composition. Yes, indeed, it does need to be rolled. So that should not take us long at all. Where's our roller at? There it is. We'll pull out our roller, get the fields all rolled. That way we are uh, we are ready to go. You know what I mean? I, I want I want to get the most soybeans out of these fields because after I roll these two, we're gonna do some contracts because I want to buy the field over there to our left. Get get that ready to go. So let's go ahead and uh, lower our roller. Lower our roller. I made a rhyme. Let's go. So let's go ahead and get these uh, rolled out real quick. Shouldn't take long. Rolling's pretty easy. So give me a few minutes and uh, we'll get this ready and get ready to do some contracts.
so uh both fields have been drilled both fields have been rolled so we should be able to uh i think that's it i don't know if we need to do anything else to the fields to be honest with you let's take a look hop off the tractor real quick uh nope everything looks pretty good yield bonus of 98 percent let's see if they're both over here 98 percent sounds good so let's go ahead and jump back in we'll put our roller away and we will pull up the contracts we'll see exactly uh what is looking for uh big money when it comes to farmers around the area so let's go ahead and uh go ahead and back this in if it's a bad backup please do not say anything about it because that would be very rude of you and i and uh, and i couldn't take it so let's go ahead and back this up right here beautiful all right don't worry about where it's parked let's go ahead and uh, we'll pull this up make sure both of our fields there's a couple of spots in the field that um you know it is what it is so let's uh let's see what we got nothing to see here we have seeds but we're not selling them go down to contracts all right so we have a cultivating we have a harvesting let's see what else we have we have a liming contract let's see how much uh net profit here so uh if we wanted to spend a bunch of time harvesting that's probably going to give us the most money uh the net profit for our time I really don't want to pick up root vegetables because they just they just take a really long time. So let's see what we have here. If we go just back mission type, we got cultivating. So that's going to be uh, $837. I'm trying to find, let's see, plowing. We don't have a plow big enough to do anything like that one. Uh, it's 1260 or 1460. Hmm. Do, 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 do um like i said we need we need a pretty big a pretty big chunk of change here i don't really parsnips everybody's growing root vegetables around here here's some corn that's only twenty one hundred dollars twenty five yeah everybody's everybody's over here growing all kinds of stuff that uh <laughs> it's gonna take forever potatoes hmm sorghum harvest the sorghum and take the product to pgr so it's only 914 dollars like here's our net profits yeah revenue then profit a minute the liming so we have one for profit let's see i like liming that's 2400 dollars. if we just use theirs we just use it because our limers kind of kind of cheeks kind of cheeks hmm I say we do this one real quick. We'll accept this one. And I did not. Uh, I, I, oh, no. All right. It looks like we're going to have to spend some money to buy a bigger limer. Uh, because we accepted it. And that's going to take us forever. And I really didn't want to do this at this point. I don't think we have enough money to, to spend. We only have 13000 this limer is twenty one hundred dollars. This is seven meter, uh, seven meters, but it doesn't hold barely anything. This one holds a lot, so let's uh, we'll go ahead and pick this one up. We'll do that. We will get out here. I'm gonna dump this one because I want to save our lime. I don't want to sell this with our lime in it. So we will go ahead and pick this up. Control I. Which one is it? Uh, unload I. Unload. Unload. There we go. Okay. Oh, not enough space to unload. If I could read, we'd have known. So let's go over to the store real quick. I think we wasted enough money going through the contracts. Let's go up to the store real quick. Pick up our new spreader. Uh, buy some more uh, lime. And we will head on over. All right, we went and picked up our brand new spreader and we filled it up with the line we had back at the farm and we brought an extra bag just in case. Um, I really don't have a way to pick it up. So uh, it took me a little bit to be able to scoop it with the pallet forks and that's okay. So it looks like this is field number 10. Looks like the field that we're gonna have to lime today. So let's go ahead and um, I don't want this lime bag to fall off but it looks like it's in pretty good hands. So we'll go ahead and turn on our limer and get some of this uh, this lime put down on this field uh, for this uh, 
for this farmer and fill 10. finish the uh, contract here on field 10 pretty simple his field looks terrible so i really don't uh mind leaving it uh, half limed and i'm not gonna waste any more lime on a field that looks absolutely terrible so we're gonna go ahead and turn that off we're gonna go over to our contracts and we will collect our contract for twenty four hundred and twenty two dollars let's see how much that property was so we can see how much more money we need let's see 42 uh it's twenty two thousand dollars this is 17 so technically oh that's ours <laughs> uh silly me uh let's see 17 is 19 so 15 is twenty two thousand so we're eight thousand dollars short maybe we can find a quick contract to make up the rest of that Let's go over here and pick up the rest. Of, maybe I can fill the rest of it. I got to pick it back up. Let's see. Go ahead and fill it back up. Do we have enough? Yep, that's all. Good. So I don't have to pick up that bag of lime again because that was a nightmare. So we have completed this one. This contract here on Phil 10, helping out a fellow farmer here in Colonia. So let's see what else, what else we have before we head all the way back to the all the way back to the farm. So let's see what we got contract wise. Uh, let's see what else do we have. Plowing, sowing, and we got sowing sugar beet. There's another liming contract. I guess we can accept this. I guess we'll go ahead and I guess we'll go ahead and accept another liming contract. We'll accept this one right here. Uh, let's see where are they at fill seventy three and field 73 is down there below us so let's go ahead and uh get going down to 73 i'll go ahead and lime that real quick since it's another liming contract and uh we'll meet you back at the farm all right contract on field 73 is complete didn't take very long it was very uh very rectangular just long but we have completed another contract we'll go ahead and collect that thirty nine hundred and thirty dollars okay okay so we're getting there we're getting there so if we go back up here just to double check uh how much was this one number seven that's twenty two thousand and that's twenty two thousand okay so we're four thousand dollars short but we are very close we only need uh four thousand more dollars to be able to purchase that next field and might have enough time to get some soybean down so i'm gonna take a look at one more i know it's been a episode or a month full of i know it's been a month full of contracts but i want to get one more field done in february so let me take a look at some more contracts and see what we got going on all right so it looks like we uh have completed harvesting this field this field right here it's getting a little bit late in the day, but that's okay. It's a little bit late in the day. We're gonna go ahead and open this up real quick. We'll turn this off, load this up so we can take this final uh, grain cart full of sorghum over to PGR. That way we can make some money. Hopefully uh, this will take us to the, uh, the mark we need, hopefully. all right jump in here we'll leave that there they'll they'll deal with it they'll deal with it i just feel like it'll take a little bit longer for us to complete this contract with our little bitty uh grain cart 
and our harvester. I think our harvester would have been fine, but the grain cart is where we probably would have made probably five or six trips. So let's get this on over to PGR and see how much money we have and see if we have enough money to purchase the field beside us at the farm. I'll meet you over there. All right, we've arrived over at PGR. We'll dump this sorghum and see exactly how much that contract is gonna give us. I hope, I hope we are close enough to where we can purchase that. I really don't wanna take out like a little $5,000 loan because I wanna get another field of soybean down. That way we can have three going and we can absolutely just make a killing when it comes to profit. This should be the end of this. So we are finished here. Harvest income, $1,300. We'll go ahead and jump in here complete. We will collect that and we're at $2,300. That's excellent. Let's go over ahead and uh, go get our tractor back. Actually, we just got to run over to the farm. We're close. I'll meet you back at the farm. Oh, wait a second. There you left it right here. All right, we have made it back over to our favorite place to be ever. A lot of contract work today. I think we did three, con three two liming contracts and a harvesting contract. Didn't take as long as I thought it would be, but we're gonna go ahead and buy this and then we'll work through the night to get this prepped and uh, get our soybeans done. So let me go ahead and purchase this real quick. Let's see, number 42, so actually 15. We're gonna buy this, $22,000, buy, and there we go. We own another piece of property here in Colonia. We are up to three fields now. And uh, we're gonna, well, there's barley already growing here. How much is it? You know what? You know what? I don't wanna do all the extra work. We'll pull the rocks out. We do have our little scraper over there. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I know it's been a little bit longer of a, a February for us, but at least it's not dark outside because I feel like we're always working into the dark, to the, the darkness in the nighttime. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like, please leave a comment and be sure to subscribe to the channel if you've enjoyed this content and the rest of the content on the channel. I know I keep saying this, but we're so close to a thousand subs and I do appreciate every single one of you. Thank you so much for the new members of the community. Uh, this is a first video going out since uh, we were able to have community members. So I will put them up there to, to show appreciation. I do appreciate every single one of you. Be sure to take care of yourself and have a good night.